In this lesson, we'll explore what ChatGPT is and how it works. Let's get started. ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI. It uses advanced algorithms to generate human-like responses to text-based prompts. It's been trained on a vast data set, including websites, articles, and books. This is what it draws from in order to generate responses. A key aspect of ChatGPT is its ability to respond to natural language. This is thanks to natural language processing, also known as NLP. NLP is a branch of artificial intelligence that deals with teaching machines how to understand and interpret human language. ChatGPT uses NLP to analyze the input it receives and generate appropriate responses. This means that you don't have to worry about using specific jargon or syntax when interacting with ChatGPT. You can simply speak or type in a natural conversational manner and ChatGPT will understand you. ChatGPT can be used for a wide range of applications, including chatbots, language translation, content generation, idea generation, summarizing text, and research, to name but a few. ChatGPT has already been used by many digital platforms, from customer service chatbots to language learning platforms. The real strength of ChatGPT is its ability to learn from context. It uses a technique called unsupervised learning to generate responses to prompts. It doesn't rely on pre-existing rules or templates. Instead, it analyzes patterns within the data it has been trained on to generate responses that are contextually appropriate. Okay, let's dive in and start using ChatGPT. You can access ChatGPT by going to chat.openai.com. You'll need to sign up for a free account if you haven't already done so. Once inside the tool, you'll see a minimalistic dashboard. On the left, you can access your chat history. You can load any previous chat by clicking on it, and you can delete individual chats by selecting a chat, then clicking the trash icon and the tick symbol. Below that, you have the ability to delete your entire chat history. You can upgrade to the premium version, switch between light and dark mode, access news updates and FAQs, and log out of your account. On the main screen, you'll see some examples as well as a brief description of some capabilities and some limitations. Let's look at the first two capabilities. ChatGPT remembers what you said earlier in the conversation and allows users to provide follow-up corrections, so you don't need to keep repeating the context. Let's see that in action. Let's ask ChatGPT to explain what a mortgage is. What is a mortgage? A mortgage is a loan that is used to purchase a property, such as a house or apartment. When you take out a mortgage, you borrow money from a lender, such as a bank or mortgage company, and use it to buy the property. Now I'm going to ask ChatGPT to explain it to me like I'm 12 years old. Explain it to a 12-year-old. A mortgage is a type of loan that you can use to buy a house. It's like borrowing money from a bank, but instead of using the money to buy a toy or a video game, you use it to buy a place to live. As you can see, I didn't have to type explain what a mortgage is to a 12-year-old. I can simply continue the conversation as I would with a human. Now let's look at some of the limitations. ChatGPT may occasionally generate incorrect information. It's important to remember that ChatGPT is a language model. It generates responses based on its data. It doesn't actually think or analyze the output to see if it makes sense or if it's correct because it can't. ChatGPT is only as good as the data it's been trained on. Put simply, if the data doesn't include trees, then it doesn't know what a tree is. And if it does have some data on a topic, that doesn't necessarily mean it has enough data to generate the right response. So responses may not always be accurate or appropriate. Just make sure you fact check everything, especially if it's important. You can keep up to date with improvements and new features by visiting ChatGPT's release notes. To access the release notes, just click the link. In the next lesson, we'll cover some use cases to see what you can do with ChatGPT. I'll see you there.